modeling builds safety. And we only have a few more minutes, but I'm going to probably say that 25 more times before we're done with this and before we get into the Q&A. Modeling builds safety. And as soon as she said that to me, a light bulb went off and I started to reflect about the, the groups that I've worked with, the leaders that I've learned from. And you start to recognize, wow, the best leaders time and time and time again are modeling these behaviors. One of my favorite groups to work with and learn from is the US women's volleyball team, the Olympic team. And the truth is I don't know much about volleyball, but I do know that that's the best learning environment I've ever seen in my life. And so I try to get out there as much as I can. A few years ago, I interviewed the coaches and I asked them, how do you build this environment? And I have a clip from that conversation that I want to show you. I have an incredible staff and Jamie and Joe and Tom and David and everybody who work with our athletes are um, really good at modeling being learners. We're here talking to you today because we might learn some. There's always stuff to be learned. And so if we model that, I think that helps for sure with the mindset of our athletes. So that's Karch Karai. He's the head coach and an absolute legend in the world of volleyball. Like if you Google his name, he literally won the award for best male volleyball player to ever live. So he is like the Michael Jordan of the volleyball world. You've only known me for about 17 minutes, but I think you can guess that I am not the Michael Jordan of the volleyball world. <laughs> like I'm just some guy that learns about learning. But the first time I watched them practice, this was years ago, I'm sitting there for three hours, sort of like in awe at the environment and everything that they're doing. And at the end of the practice, he comes up to me and he goes, Thank you so much for coming out. What did you see that we could be doing better out there? Dang, that's the best volleyball player to ever live. Literally at the top of that sport, asking for feedback. 99% of us would make small talk in that scenario and talk about the weather and where we're going to go to lunch. The best volleyball player to ever live asked for feedback. And then... There's another thing that I would like sort of observe. He would set up a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with his players. And at the end of every meeting, he looks the player in the eye every time and goes, how can I be better for you? And at first I was like, whoa, that's an interesting question. And it would lead to good conversations. He'd get some good feedback. But what I didn't realize until I learned about Amy Edmondson and psychological safety is, whoa, what he's really doing in asking that question, he's modeling. Modeling builds safety. 